Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural episode of Japan Time, the podcast for Smash Brothers announcements and analysis. Uh, I'm your host, Roger DiLuigi, and joining me today to talk about the glory that is Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS, we have... Hi, my name's Shofu. Shofu, Hello. you are really quiet. I yeah. said my name is Shofu. There we go. <laughs> and then we have me, my name is Black Blastoise. Little Black, Little Black. Yo, everybody, what's going on? Your, uh, your host here, not Roger DiLuigi, but your uh, Ricky Cocaine, live, hey, doing no, it here. You're not using that Ricky. <laughs> Why can't I do use <laughs> What the hell are you even talking about? We just dropped the professionalism meter by like 12. <laughs> God, we're literally talking before the show, like, don't use a nickname. Oh, man. All right, so Ike, okay. since you're not introducing yourself as Ike, that's Ike. Uh, yeah. And after Ike, we've got. Oh wait, uh, I'm... wait! My bad. I was gonna say you're supposed to say Ike fights for his friends, but continue. Ike, uh... I fight for my friends. Am I supposed <laughs> to say not... that? You gotta say else? it like Ike says it, man. You gotta say I fight for my friends. I fight. Right. I this, fight this, for this is gonna hella gay. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how to feel about anything. Everyone just fine. say their and name I'm real kidding. quick. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Dan, introduce yourself. I'm I'm Zef. That's it. <laughs> I'm not even. That's it. I'm just. I'm Zef. Hi, Zef. <laughs> and finally, special guest from his car ride over to another Smash Brothers tournament because he loves the game so much. We have. Hey, it's Kitaro, uh, Smash commentator and tournament organizer. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Just so you guys know who are listening, um, we're going to try to keep this an hour. We're going to try to make a bi-weekly thing out of this. And every week since Sakurai announced that over Miiverse, he's going to be announcing new information about the games, um, showing off pictures of the games, screenshots of the games, things like that. We figured we could talk about that stuff, sort of really analyze every sort of detail and everything, um, and then bring all the best stuff about Smash Brothers straight to you in this cool little bi-weekly package. So I think where we should start this week is the trailers, the launch trailers. So we've got a ton of stuff. I don't know how we're going to cram this in an hour, but I just feel like we should recap through the launch trailer, talk about what our reactions were when you saw Animal Crossing for the first time, um, you know, what you thought with the intro, what you liked about them, what you didn't like, things like that. Well, anyone can provide a link to it so we can all be on the same page. That's a good idea, Black. That is a very good idea. That's why I keep you around. Nice. So you don't use me, though, as the link person, because I'm the YouTube noob, so... Yeah, you're pretty newbie. Yeah. What do you need a link to? We, the trailer? We, I got you right here. My yeah. Name. Shofu <laughs> got this. He's a professional YouTuber. Right. You already yeah. know. He has the banner. <laughs> All right, so what was the first thing... What would, just go around the room, even though we're not in a room, we're on Skype right now. Talk about... <laughs> What was the first thing you thought when you saw the trailer? Like, what you liked, what you didn't like? Shofu, you want to start? I just loved how, you know, it was real HD. Because, you know, Wii wasn't in HD at all. First of all, that's, you know, that's just the first thing I noticed. And then, um, I don't know. I didn't really care about the villager at all. I was like, okay, villager. Villager's here. Yay. And then I saw Mega Man, and I thought that was just real interesting. Like, I didn't really know what his moves would be. I couldn't like think of a moose set for him off the top of my head, but I was I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy, man. I was pretty happy. Well, I think the thing with Mega Man, I mean, you knew his moose set by the end of like the little trailer they showed. Yeah, somewhat. You pretty much knew. Like, I'm. We're gonna talk about that later about what we think all his moves are and how he switches between weapons and stuff. Um, but yeah, like Black Blast Toys, what'd you think? All right. First of all. I was like, hmm, Smash 4, not bad. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, they showed that, that that new, like, the what's he called, Villager, supposedly, I guess. I don't know. I never played Animal Crossing. So it's I was just like, well, it him. looks it looks like uh, another useless Ness character, so I won't be picking this dude for sure. Oh, and, uh, useless Ness. And then they, they showed, like, the some gameplay footage, and I was like, yes, not bad. It, it looks a little faster than Brawl, so... Um, Looks like they didn't fuck up this time. <laughs> and, uh, then they showed, then they showed Mega Man. So, I don't know. He's really interesting. He doesn't really seem like something I would use, but he definitely seems like a real cool character to add. 
because um, I think people have been expecting him to be in the. Uh, because even even before Brawl came out, people were speculating that Mega Man would be in here, and like in in Melee, people would um post like fake like I don't know Easter egg type things where supposedly if you did a certain thing, like I don't know get a thousand kills on Cruel Melee or whatever, you could unlock uh, Mega Man, but that was obviously fake. So um yeah, now well, he's they did in the here same sure. thing. Didn't they do the same thing for uh Sonic for and Melee? Tails. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I remember IG uh, not IGN uh, EGM put up in like their rumor section they're like oh yeah yeah if you uh play cruel melee and you kill 80 people then you unlock sonic you yeah. kill 80 more people with sonic and you get towed and it was like lord what are you doing <laughs> yeah, mercy on, uh, the soul who actually tried to attempt that and spend hours hoping for sonic uh, if anyone did it mew3 probably did it yeah but the main thing that i got out of this is that it's gonna be a lot faster than brawl was which is a lot more appealing to me because i'm mainly a melee player i don't really mess with brawl too much but yeah that's that's what i got out of it right on ike uh i couldn't contain myself i saw the trail and uh <laughs> i dang near lost my mind you know how you know the the only game that i really play is smash if i go back to any system so yeah i think that's smash. something that's that's shared i think among all of us is the fact that i think if any of us had to choose what game we would, like we would end up choosing over all of the games i think all of us except for like maybe shofu and blastoise would be smash brothers yeah <laughs> apocalypse sorry. happens that's, smash the only, brothers. that's the only reason i bought a game and we play smash brothers you're I'm, saying you would give up Pokemon for Smash? No, hell no. I'm just yeah, saying. I have, I have no <laughs> yeah, reason. If, if Smash Bros. didn't exist, I have no reason to have a GameCube or a Wii. I've already done that. <laughs> Damn. All right, Keitaro, man. I saw that reaction video. Let's, oh, talk, let, let, let's talk about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> What's Super I, Super? <laughs> I was out of my mind. I mean, at first, I didn't know it was a um, Smash video. So I was, like, confused. But then once I saw a Smash, I, like, just show me Mario punching someone and i'm gonna freak out so obviously i was hyped and then i saw the villager i've been waiting for him forever so i was hyped about that then Mega Man, i could not believe it at all i just it just blew my mind i almost started to cry i had to hold back tears that's how bad it was <laughs> so i uh, obviously all the only game i play is smash so i was very very hyped to see it you guys can actually view his reaction because uh clash tournaments they recorded it and you can oh, yeah. see all it's of Kitaro's wonderful but- Expressions. Okay, Tara, you got to throw that in the uh, throw that in the show notes, and then I'll link to it. <laughs> oh, okay. Your reaction video. You have to. It's it's terrible. I I can't even watch it myself. I forgot I was recorded. Actually, you're so having meltdowns funny. while you're watching it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, and then Seth, we didn't get your reaction yet. Oh uh, well, it's Smash Bros. This is my favorite game, so I was happy. No matter what, even if it was slow as hell like Brawl. Uh, some stages look stupid, like like the the wannabe big blue stage. I don't know what it's called. It's the one with Toon Link. Um, oh, the Spirit Tracks one? Yeah, and then the one with, where the, the pole hit Bowser through that platform. It looks stupid. The Mario but, 3D Land one. But, uh, yeah, Bowser's like my, one of my favorite Nintendo characters. So when I saw him actually run, I was happy. And then when I saw Mega Man, I might have cried. I'm not gonna hey, say anything. Hey, me and Zephyr are going crazy, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we were yeah. going ham. I'm excited for this game. Yeah, man. I definitely when I when I saw Mega Man, the first time I saw Mega Man, um, and he was like standing up in the hill, like he didn't I didn't like my mind could not comprehend that they were actually using classic Mega Man. So the way his hair was looking, I thought he was gonna be Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. And I, I was like, was Oh Isaac. man, dude. Isaac? From Golden Sun. Oh, it could have. Yeah, I guess his hair was like the same way. Um, but man, when that helmet went on, and then the little like bring bring thing went up, and his eyes the turned eyes on, I yeah. oh. oh my! And God. the CG, hello, incredible. When he throws the metal blade and like it skims Mario's nose, and coins go flying everywhere. Oh, that was the best. It was the best. They did a lot of good work there. They they definitely uh knew how to hype him up. Well, of the stuff. That we know, I think, because we could go through that trailer. I mean, we have a whole section that we've got coming up dedicated to, like, attack changes and things we're going to be talking about. But um, just as a recap for people who are interested in it or who have might think they might have, like, missed something in the trailer, 
Um, confirmed characters so far. Mario, Bowser, Donkey Kong, Link, Kirby, Pikachu, Samus, Fox, Pit, Villager, Mega Man, and the Wii Fit Trainer. Well, we didn't even we didn't even talk about the Wii Fit Trainer <laughs> thing. Like that I thought Sakurai was trolling us. Like I did not believe He still is. That was the first one who told you. I, I didn't believe you. I told I was telling you guys uh before we started recording. I when Ike called me up and was like Dude, you watched the developer direct, and I saw the thumbnail with the Wii Fit Trainer. I thought it was like some, you know, like some CG video they just put in. <laughs> I did not think she was a playable character. That is where I lost my mind. <laughs> and Sakurai, I trust though, man. Like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I don't. Honest, I, don't mind I saw it. it a mile away. Yeah, I don't really care. People were mad about that though. I never got why people are mad though, because I feel like she's the new, like lean female character. She's gonna be the that, better. You know, she's like suit. the new Sheik, the new Zero Suit. You know, she's just the next step. Uh, Zero Suit was pretty unique, though. It's kind of. And that's yeah. that's another thing. So Samus in the trailer. Um, so final smashes were confirmed for those of you guys who, like I said, might have missed it. Uh, Samus does her big final smash, like the thing that takes over the screen, the laser beam. But two things. One, it looks like she's guiding the laser beam, like she's angling it, kind of like Lucario's final smash in. Yeah, that's true. Hall. Yeah. And the second thing is they cut it out right before she would normally transform into Zero Suit and Brawl. So do you guys think Zero Suit's coming back? I hope or, so. And like, I feel I feel no. I feel no, just because. Why? Well, just because me personally, I didn't utilize her that much. And I don't know if uh, in tournament she was utilized as much as some of the other characters. Hell yeah, so, dude. Zero Suit just won the last Apex. Yeah, she's I, fucked up. You're lying to me. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah there's I was a, there. Uh, I don't even like Brawl. Wait, cool. you didn't know this? <laughs> no, I didn't know this. Sa- I, Salem was whooping everybody's away. ass. I don't think Salem yeah. lost the set, right? Yeah, Keitaro so, no? commentated pretty much most of those matches, I would assume, right? Yeah, he did. And, uh, yeah. Kun, and Kun, too. <laughs> yeah, um, Zero Suit Samus actually turned out to be a very hard-to-be character. So I hope she comes back. I hope We Fit Trainer is not a replacement because <laughs> she's cool. She's okay, but eh, I like Zero Suit better. Yeah, See, I don't think We Fit Trainer is going to be like a replacement. I just think she's like the next step in like the new introduction of like the the stereotypical like lean female fighter. Like she's like the new she. I'm because I'm not saying they play the same. Obviously, Sheik is is not Zero Suit is not We Fit Trainer. But I just mean in terms of like play style, I feel like if you liked those other two, you'll probably end up liking her too. I kind of think they have to bring back Zero Suit Samus though, because like it's Samus, like they have nothing to lose by just having like a side, like another character for her. Like I don't know, it's kind of it's like it's like Im- yeah, it's, it's like implied that she'd be in there again to me. See, but then that begs the question, you know, if she is in there again, do you just have like the little button hold that thing where like you press down R and then? She becomes zero suit if you want to just play as her again, or like yeah, well, how are they I gonna mean, get around that? I mean, why not? Yeah, because yeah. she doesn't even take up a, another space in like on the yeah, roster. Exactly. She's just there because so I feel like they need more characters. Because like Sheik and Zelda, you can transform now. Zero suit Samus, you can transform. So I don't see why they would take that off. Yeah, exactly. Cool. I guess. I guess. Yeah. I the thing I guess with we fit trainer to go back to her that I think is like really interesting is watching her moveset. She seems like a game and watch <clears throat> like she has the play style of a Sheik or a zero suit, but she has the, the move set of like a game and watch just from like the little things we've seen, like the yoga moves. Um, the I think, I think there was something <laughs> yeah. in one of the screenshots where she like creates a, a Wii fit soccer ball and then like punts it at someone's head. Yeah. I saw that. And then like people can use it as an item, sort of like uh Rob's gyromites. Yeah. Really? And then on top of that, on top of all of that, she has like that weird hula hoop move. She has her final smash is like the, we fit silhouettes. I don't know, man. I think she's like that quirky choice. And uh, I'm going to play her for sure. I hope she replaced. I hope Mega Man and her replaced Robin Game and Watch. I did not like those characters. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> they were never. They were never good ever. Lordy, lordy, then fighting words. Do not even. Do not start Game and Watch. Game and Watch is it, a staple, though. That's Game and Watch is a staple. Like I can yeah. maybe yeah, see man. the argument for Rob, but even still, Rob is original. Like. Rob is a part of Nintendo yeah, history. That's, that's, that's people, OG Nintendo right there. I know. People moaned about Rob and Smash as like one of the last unlockables. And I was like, are you people kidding? 
Like, maybe he's not like as tournament viable as a lot of the other characters, but actually, there's a lot of good Rob players out there. And on top of that, he's got an original so, move set. Like, <laughs> why would you want to cut someone with an original move set before someone like Falco or Wolf or Luigi? Hold even? Hold on, I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. don't that... cut Luigi, but all right, don't talk about my space animal. Yeah, don't I'm talk. Don't saying. talk about Wolf. Like that. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. They're cutting. They're cutting Wolf. Nah, nah, sure. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. They're cutting nah, Wolf. He's nah, dead. Nah, nah, Wolf's coming back. <laughs> dead, dead in the woods. I, I'm actually with Shofu on this. I think I bet Wolf comes back and Falco does not. What? Really? I do. That's I ridiculous. Do. Uh, really? I, need, I need Falco in my life, even if he has I a do. stupid reflector. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I, I do, because I feel like, because one of the things, like I said, we're going to talk about a little later with um, something going on in Kitaro's car. I don't know what's going on. But, <laughs> anyways, um, one of the things I think with Wolf, as opposed to Falco, is they really made a point to like differentiate him. And I remember vividly. Multiple times, Sakurai mentioning that he wanted to get Wolf in the original Smash Brothers. Like, he wanted him as a playable character. Wolf is even in what does the Melee to... CG cutscene in the opening. Like, Wolf is meant to be there since the beginning. And Falco was just sort of that character that could be, like, an easy reskin. And even even if you look at the final Smash, like, um, the files for Falco and Fox's final Smash, and then you look at the final <laughs> Smash for Wolf, they're completely different files. But Falco and Fox's are exactly the same. I, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I really do believe that Falco would get cut over Wolf. I really do. You're tripping hella hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Know. There's no way. I'm t- I I don't know, man. I don't know. Too many too many people would uh would would just go. Yeah, he, and then they made him so Falco unique. Fashion. They made him so unique and broad, but to, to just take him out like that it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I think the thing really is different. though. With Sakurai talking about like wanting to make the roster a little smaller so they could accommodate, because this is again something we'll talk about like in the news and like the analysis is he mentioned in a bunch of interviews that the roster, like one very clear thing he said is that the roster of both games is is the same size. So he didn't say that the roster is the same, but he said that the roster is the same size. So that could imply maybe there could be. Um, Wii U specific or 3DS specific characters because like there aren't any screenshots on the dojo of there Wii is no crossplay either, and there's no crossplay too, right? So you gotta wonder um, how because because they already you know there's gonna be some connection between the two games. Mm-hmm. How, what are they gonna do if there's not crossplay? How could they do that? Like, would it be carrying your character over? Would it be um, you know playing on the go, winning tournaments, and then bringing them into your Wii U version? Like, how would that work? You know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious know. about that too. Because I mean, I don't know. With no crossplay, like, what's what's the point of having two separate? I mean, I know what the point is of having two separate games because people on both systems want to play it, and like people like us will buy multiple copies of both versions just because we love Smash Brothers. But like, but for the mainstream, like, why bother even? Why if there's not going to be crossplay? Um, but of course, with the exception being that there's some something. That connects the two, you know. And Iwata even mentioned that in the very first announcement of both of these games is that there is a unique thing between these two games, like they connect together in some fashion. So whatever that may be, mm-hmm. we still got to find out. Okay. It might be something dumb, like if you connect it to the the Wii U version, then you get like a trophy. Because in Melee, like the whole trophy system, if you had certain games, like uh, I think Animal Crossing was one of them, and then. Another one was like the Olimar game. I forgot what it's called. But if you had those saved on, on your memory card, yeah, Pikmin. If you had those games saved on your memory card, then you got like bonus trophies. So it might just be something real gimmicky like that. Well, That'd know. be a waste. Yeah. yeah. But that does seem like something they would do, though. I still think the community, the Smash community, is going to ad- uh, adopt the, the console one as the main one anyway. Yeah, obviously. Oh, that's not even a question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless of characters. No. Yeah. Well, I think that just comes with you know. I feel like people will be going to the tournaments at Evo and going to Apex and all these other places and like seeing um, the Wii U version, but I think they'll be in the audience playing between matches on the 3DS. That'd be sick. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. 3DS tournaments. Friendlies. That'd be cool. And then on top that's of that, too, too, like you real. know, they're gonna do something with Street Pass. You, they've got to. They've done oh, it. Wow. I still don't. So I still don't understand how that works. Okay, I saw everybody with 3ds is at at uh, e, at E3, and I brought mine and I left it on in my backpack, and I I don't understand the point of it. <laughs> was it was it 
Oh, do you have like that Me Plaza thing? That's what it's for. Yeah. Yeah, but why? Like, why oh, do I? Why, why do I care talk. about that? Well, because like for certain games like Fire Emblem, you can play with your friends and like take those characters into your own game. So like, say you're playing Fire Emblem. We're getting off track, but like, yeah. <laughs> say you're playing. Fi- say you're playing Fire Emblem, and you have your little My Unit character, and then you street pass with someone else who has Fire Emblem, they're going to get your little My Unit character and can play with them and have them in their, you know, their squadron of playable characters. There's just, like, little cool unlockable things like that. And I'm sure something like trophies would totally be designated to street pass stuff. I don't know. Segwaying from Fire Emblem. Um, so Ike is probably going to get replaced. Why do you say that? Just because how it, it's going to turn into a pattern, I think, because it was Roy and then Ike and then... Whoever knows, maybe the the default my unit, Robin from the new one. Dude, I As... people people on on sites that shall not be named, and on Gaff and on Kotaku, and on pretty much every other site have said, wouldn't it be cool if they threw in someone like Tharja, because she's like a sorceress. She's really popular. She's extremely popular. The cast always needs more females, and then on top of that too, she would be the first non Lord Fire Emblem character, which mm-hmm. is needed. And like, yeah, maybe you could do the my unit thing, but I feel like getting like making the Robin default unit as the my unit as a playable character in Smash just seems kind of weird. Like I know they have the villager and he's like the default Animal Crossing character, but at the same time, uh, I feel like the whole experience with Fire Emblem is so customizable and like really comes down to what every person's individual experience is that I I don't think they're gonna put in the my unit as the playable character. Here comes the engine. <laughs> I'm trying to mute it in between uh, times I talk. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was gonna say uh, I don't know too much about Fire Emblem, but I would love for there to be a Fire Emblem girl character. That would just be so awesome. There was Another character that's like fast, like Marth, I guess. That would be cool. Yeah. There what was, are your uh, thoughts on Marth's thing? Marth, I think she's he he is gonna get replaced <laughs> by Lucina, the female Marth. No, just because they're the same character, she's just a modernized version of Marth. He hasn't had his own game in a long time. I don't know, man, though, because Marth He's is Marth. the standard. Yeah, everybody Fire loves, Emblem everybody character, loves like he is the face of the series. Like that'd be like cutting Mario in Smash Brothers and replacing him with Doctor Mario, but not having Mario <laughs> in the game. Like that would be very weird. Oh, uh, something I forgot to mention when we were talking about the My Unit and Animal Crossing thing. I yeah. don't know if it was disconfirmed or anything or even brought up, but how about like the connectivity between the Wii U and 3DS? It would just take the the image of your unit or your Animal Crossing character and put it in the game, but nothing else changes, just the physical mm-hmm. appearance. Well, Sakurai said, this is in uh, some of the topics that we have listed for later, Sakurai specifically mentioned that there would be no, like, alt costumes and no crossplay. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right up front. And so, like, I'm sure there might still be some exceptions to that. Like, Lord knows they're not going to cut Wario, you know, and I'm sure Wario will still be in there with, like, his Wario Land costume mm-hmm. and his Wario Wear costume. Wait, wait, wait. So you don't think they're going to cut Wario? No, wait, are you Falco. kidding me? No way in a million Wario's years. more important than Falco to them. Yeah, what? Absolutely. Wario is more important to like the entire Nintendo fandom than Falco is. All right, like, all right, all right. I, I can I can understand that. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Okay. <laughs> Wario, Wario is the Falco of Mario's universe. What? Wario he's... has his own game series. That's like no, if no, there was just... Falco Fox, then maybe. But like, I'm just saying Wario he's like wears. the antihero of oh, the yeah. series. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, maybe there'll be exceptions to that. Maybe we'll have uh, other costume things. But I think maybe. That quote was sort of like mistranslated or something, because he might have meant alt costumes like um, what people did with Project M. Like Ike, I know. What did you add? Like, <clears throat> I shouldn't say we mod our wees, but like, what did you? Uh, we what don't. Were the we don't. You added, what were the characters you added in like Mario's slot? Um, there was a Metal Mario version. There was a. Oh, so some... it would be like no Doctor Mario. Right. Yeah. Probably like no Doctor Mario or things like that. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you could do you could do a world of stuff. And uh, change up the model a lot, but um, I don't know what Sakura is planning in terms of that. I don't think he's gonna go as far as making each character have you know different costumes like Wario did, but you know we'll still have the standard different colors or whatever. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And people, okay. This side note, 
but people, for some reason, because Sakurai was tweeting, like, figures of Pit and Dark Pit, they're like, oh, man, Dark Pit's going to take up a character slot. No way. That's a waste. That, that is a waste. Like, <laughs> no way <laughs> are they going to take up a... Especially with Sakurai saying, like, he wants to have original characters now. He wants to make, you know, he wants to, like, really balance the ones that are there. Really try to, like, avoid clones. No way. Even if they make Dark Pit, like, the Uprising character. Like, they changed half of Pit's attacks now. Where oh, yeah. he has, like, the Guardian Orbitars and he's got the uppercut arm. Like, they don't need that, so... Let's talk about these new attack changes, though. Yeah, all right. Well, Shofu, you got the list in front of you. You want to start? Yeah. Uh, what would you say? Link's up B has multiple hits now? Like, Toon Link's in Bro? Yeah. Yeah, think about that. I mean, but who uses Link? Are you kidding? <laughs> what? <laughs> Not Shots a soul. Fire. Not a soul that I know. <laughs> I mean, what does that what does that change though? Yeah, generally Link isn't really very good. I think he's been like low tier in every single Smash game ever. Even in sixty four. Yeah. Yeah. I think that I think what that changes is people liked Toon Link in Brawl. Uh, people competitively would play Toon Link, and Link was always sort of the character they got like thrown under the bus. And I feel like maybe by giving Link Toon Link's up B, like with the multi hits, I think maybe they're trying to make him more viable. Like, we can't really tell just from the trailer. How does that make him more viable? I think that makes him worse. Yeah. What? As a, as a competitive player, Link's up B was always used as, I don't know about Brawl, but in 64 and Project, or Project, uh, Melee, um, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was easy it was, as a killing move. It was always a kill move. This yeah, makes it a DIable 2% move. Yeah. <laughs> he probably doesn't if... even know what DI is. <laughs> But what if? No, but I'm saying, what if they like double combo? Like what you could, because you could use the thing about Toon Links is that you could combo into other things. Whereas, like you said, Links up B originally was like a finisher kind of thing. Like making this, like, I I don't know. Like I said, because the the video really doesn't give us that much about it. But if they make Link more of a combo player, even if they want to make him more of a grappler, like with the the claw shot or anything like that, I think I don't know. I, 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 do, um, I do think I agree with Zeph though. I do think Link would be better with that with his regular OB, because his OB it just lasted so long and it had a lot of knockback and the angle that it locked you back. At least in melee, I don't really know about brawl, but that angle it just knocked you back like directly, like vertically hey, or yeah. horizontally rather. So it it was it was like a fast option. If someone was hitting your shield, you could either shield grab them with the the little long hook shot thing, or you could just like up B them, and it was it was like instant, pretty much similar to how like Donkey Kong and Bowser use their up B. But I don't know. I want to get a uh, Kitaro's opinion on the up B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was gonna it. say um, you play bro. <laughs> well, Link is definitely better in melee. Link can actually win some matches in melee, and Brawl Link is an absolute joke. And um, that multi hit thing um. It was never made that useful in, what is it, uh, Brawl for Toon Link, so I think it won't be that great for Link. And also, um, people are watching the trailer, and you can see how far Link's up B goes, and it's terrible. So, like, if he's jumping and up Bs, it's pretty much the same like Brawl. He goes nowhere. Same like Melee, too. So, everybody auto assume that Link is going to be complete garbage in this game. It's sad. <laughs> yeah. That's, like I was yeah. saying earlier, Link has been absolutely horrible in every single Smash game. But Every you think game. like Link is one of their core characters to to make Link bad? I mean, and maybe we could well, segue this into Bowser. Like, if that if was they're the changing case. up Bowser to Bowser to be like way more viable. I mean, I, we have listed under the show notes like Bowser the wrestler, like his new moves and even the stuff they talked about in the developer direct. Like he looks good now. His run speed is better. He doesn't have that weird like. What, what did you call it? Like the cr- the car crawl or something? Yeah. <laughs> like the mini bike. <laughs> mini bike. <laughs> he looks so much more viable now, and you'd think like if they're gonna make that adjustment with him, don't you think they would make that adjustment to a character I mean, like Link? We never know. He he knows yeah. he has all the he has all the damn gadgets. He he could he could do anything. We we have no idea at the moment. Yeah. But, but like, by that logic, if Nintendo's gonna make their like higher selling characters better, then uh, Mario should be like the Meta Knight in every game, essentially. <laughs> But, or banned from all tournaments because he's so good. No, but, <laughs> but like in, in Smash 64, Mario, I don't know the tier list very well, but I know he's definitely not the Pikachu. He's and in old. Melee, he's like low tier. And in Brawl, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he he's sucks. Yeah, yeah, he kind of he sucks. 
Uh, but about the up Bs again, uh, something that's not listed here is Donkey Kong's up B. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it was shown yeah. that he up B through somebody's attack. He had super armor frames. Really? So. Wasn't that how it was awesome. in Brawl, too? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like that in Brawl. Okay. Yeah. Wait, was it actually? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, at the very yeah. beginning. He had okay. super yeah, armor yeah. Brawl? Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. Or maybe oh. I did and I just forgot. But, like. <laughs> It looks different too, though, right? Or he had it at an angle. He was like leaning forward. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. It looked a lot more like what Rob would do. Yeah. Like, yeah. Rob's yeah, side yeah. where he like does the the flutter thing and he moves his arms out in an angle. It kind of looked like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So what else is down the list of attack changes that we? Oh yeah. Mar- so Mario. We were just talking about Mario. Mario still has the flood. That poor so, man. So like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm a, I, don't, I don't know if I'm. That move is completely. I don't understand. <laughs> Why can't it be his recovery? <laughs> <laughs> it's useless, and it's from Mario Sunshine. I really hope they take it out, but it looks like it's already in. Yeah, yeah I mean that's here to stay. You can see the video instead of Sunshine. Mm. I don't know. And people said this back even when Brawl came up. But do you think like when Luigi's introduced, because there's now a new Luigi's Mansion, that he'll get the Poltergust this time, or do you think he's? Like, they're not changing him at this point. Like, the missile and everything is, like, so ingrained with Luigi culture. Luigi! You know, that, like, they're not going to change him. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, Luigi, might... he doesn't have... I think they only added that missile thing and just because he didn't have enough games himself to do, like, like the Poltergust or something. Mario! Because he's having that RPG come out soon where he's the star. So he might have moves from there. Maybe. We shall see. And then we got Bowser the Wrestler, which you mentioned earlier. That drop kick move. Yes. Right. Oh, yes. I, I forgot to mention this. We saw in the, that drop kick uh, that the game had Brawl Shields. That's where true. He could he the power shield and it was just was Brawl power shield, so Well the yeah. other thing that's that's very brawl and not melee is that uh, there's one scene in the developer director Mario Recovers. And he auto grabs. Oh the yeah, ledge. the ledge grab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the ledge grab is auto too. So it's no longer like well, it wasn't like this in Brawl. So I don't know why we'd expect it to change. Um, but yeah, it doesn't like go over ledges and it doesn't cut under them. So it is just an auto grab again. There was also uh, <clears throat> about that as well. I don't know if you could have done this in Brawl, but there was a thing. Mario was in his air dodge animation and he was going towards the ground, and he leaned to the ledge and it looked like he like you edge canceled an aerial in melee. He would uh he like slid off and grabbed the edge after the air dodge. I don't know about brawl, but I think it would stop there. But I don't know. I don't play brawl enough to know. I I thought the same thing. I thought it stopped there, but I could find a gif, but it might take a while. Well, it's fine. Well, while we're while we're doing that, um, just to go over different topics, like, is there any other attack thing before we get into like the the big news stuff, like the big changes that you, any of you guys noticed, like any small things? Um, footstooling. I think there was an animation of Kirby jumping off of Link's head somewhere. Oh, I, I did actually see that. Yeah, yeah. There was a thread on Smash Boards about that. I think there's a screenshot about that too. Like the the screen of Kirby jumping on Pikachu's head or something. Yeah. Or yeah. It was uh, yeah. It was, it was Kirby, uh, and he was jumping off of Link's head because. He was on top of him, and Link had his head down like he was being footstooled. So. Oh, wow. One thing I just noticed while we're looking at this thing. We were talking about characters, then we got sidetracked about Fire Emblem, and we started talking about attacks. We did not mention the stages that oh, yeah. have been in so far. That's like a huge thing. So the stages that we've seen confirmed so far, for the 3DS version, there's Battlefield. Mm-hmm. There's like a Nintendogs room. There is <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mario 3D Land level, which could be two levels i don't know but in the press kit there's a level that looks like the first level of new super mario brothers and then there's another level that looks like 3d land um but that could be like an uh scrolling level kind of like the mushroom kingdom and brawl um and then we got the spirit train uh legend of zelda spirit tracks level and then uh i I know you didn't notice this at first but gerudo valley is in there too and the developer direct you can clearly hear the gerudo valley theme um so obviously that's like to represent Ocarina of Time's 3DS remake. So those are the 3DS stages. Um, and then the ones that we have confirmed for Wii U, there's Battlefield, obviously. Um, there's Skyloft, which looks a lot like the Project M mod for Skyloft. A lot 
like the Project M mod that they did. Um, it'll probably work like Delfino. Um, and then we've got Smashville, which also looks like there could be two different Smash stages because there's one with City Folk in the background, and there's another one that looks just like the standard uh, Brawl stage. Then we've got Wily's Castle, which everyone's been wanting and everyone expects because Mega Man's a character. And then the last one, which maybe we could discuss about this, is a arena that looks very similar to a boxing arena in Punch Out. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah, similar. Like this. So do you guys think Little Mac? Do you think this is a situation where it's a stage that's in it in and being represented without a character? Or do you think It also kind of it kind of reminds me of uh it's really obscure, but uh it, I think it's just uh it looked like the 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 Kirby versus DDD boxing ring match in uh one of his big games. Uh, I forget what superstar something. I don't know. It just really looks like it. But it says Smash Bros, so... And then on top of that, you see people in the audience. Like, there's not Mario characters or Kirby enemies. It's, like, clearly people. And then there was even a... There was a screen that people did, like, a comparison screen of the Punch-Out Arena for Wii. And even the, the, like, the lines and the color of the lines of the, uh... Whatever, like, the the ring... What do you call those? Like, the... (laughs) I can't think of... like the, the what? What are the, like the bars the that are across like the a ropes, boxing ring? Yeah. The rope, thank you. Why did I have bars. a brain card on that? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the ropes are the exact same color as the ropes in Punch Out. Yeah, you can the see it. The light show link. beforehand. I think there's a screenshot of like Mario doing like a Richard Nixon pose, and then there's these green lights going in the background, and they're the exact same green lights that Super Macho Man does when he enters the stage in Punch Out Two. So. Yeah, Black just posted a push. Yeah. Like, yeah. The yeah. There the we go. Color. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and safe. I think they're even teasing it with that with the with the village so, yeah, and the, the boxing animal glove, process. like for sure. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm hyped for little Mac. Yeah, I was pretty hype about this ring too when I saw. I was like, yes, this is a perfect ring to kick butt on. But it looks like it's not going to be a competitive stage, in my opinion. It's, it's looks not, like it's going to have walk off blast zones. Yeah. Even the way they jump in, like, how do you kill someone on that stage? Like, it, 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 I'm doubt, I doubt it'll be exactly like Flat Zone. Maybe oh, it could be. But... I was so hyped when I saw this. Though. I was like, yes, you could do like <laughs> Royal, Royal Rumbles. You have like every single character and just like toss them niggas out and they lose. That's that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's jump in then uh, to the different topics. So the big change, which is a good segue from what we were talking about with like technical stuff. The big, big, big change, which, thank goodness, has now been confirmed by Sakurai himself. Tripping is dead. So there's yes. no longer tripping. Think I, I don't think any of us disagree with this. I don't think we this. need to say anything about that. Yeah, that's pretty Nothing obvious. more, man. Like, we're happy. Um, <laughs> but then the next thing is that 3DS... Wait, wait, wait. I kind of want to say something about that, actually. Because oh, okay, tri- tripping, tripping as in... Like you can't trip anybody. Like Meta Knight's a down, down, uh, a down attack. He, um, he tri- He can trip people. Like, is it not? Tri- is it no tripping? Period, or just no random tripping? Well, actually, Ike, weren't you talking uh, earlier before we started recording about Diddy Kong? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I mean, before, I felt like they implemented uh, tripping just because Diddy Kong was a character, and exactly. you had to use his banana peels or whatever. But now, without any tripping, not sure. Back to what Shofu was asking, I'm not 100% sure whether it's, uh, you know, no tripping, no random tripping, that's just cut out, or tripping in general. But if tripping in general is cut out, maybe that means that Diddy Kong might be cut too as a character. Um, in the new Donkey Kong game coming out, Dixie is the co-star. No, Diddy Kong is still is still a co-star too. Oh, There's four I'm playable characters. There's Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, and someone else that hasn't been announced yet. Hey, Kataro uses Diddy, actually. What do you think about that? Is he there? <laughs> oh, I, don't I don't know if he's a Diddy player. Hi, I'm sorry. Um, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I really, really hope Diddy Kong is back. So, I'm, you know, I want Dixie, too. But I hope Diddy Kong is back. But what do you, you th- think Donkey Kong, like, deserves three reps? Yeah, hell yeah. I don't give a well, fuck, actually. DK's but... <laughs> the one who started it all, to be fair. That's Wait, true. Wait, I wanted to know what you knew, uh, what you thought about the tripping too, Katara. Not returning. Oh, he's back. I mean, he's gone. Oh, he DC'd. Yeah, hold on, let me call him again. That's what happens when you record in a car. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, well, while, while uh, Kikara is still connecting, we could talk about some minor stuff. So one is that Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Super Smash Brothers for 3DS are the finalized names of the game. So there's not going to be a subtitle this time. There's no Clash or Cataclysm or whatever else people are talking about. Like, what do you think? Super is that Smash okay? Bros. Tussle. For Smash For Fluffle. Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> destruction. <laughs> So, like, you cool with that? Like, are you happy that there's... Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna fine. call it Smash 4, so... Seems like a logical yeah. name, I mean... Like, every time I play Smash, like, He's I just say that. 4. I'm gonna play Smash. It's not like, I, I'm gonna play Super Smash Brothers Melee. I just say Smash. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, the 3DS version and the Wii U version might not release at the same time was another thing out of the same interview. Which, like... Do you wow. think that they'll put? Um, do you think that they'll put the Wii U version ahead of the other ones, or do you think they're going to like to save the Wii U, or do you think they're going to like put out the 3DS one first? They might. Um, they might put out the 3D. Uh, yeah, the 3DS one first because it's probably not going to be as smooth running just to hype people up for the the main version. I would say. Yeah, I, I guess. Or maybe maybe it would come second because the console ones might be more important. Yeah, and I think right now, that's one of the big things is, like, people are talking about Wii U, and, I mean, the software looks good now, because you got, like, Mario 3D Land and Donkey Kong, and there's a lot of stuff coming, and, like, X, and cool stuff like that, but I think everyone wants Smash Brothers. I think, like, Smash Brothers is the one game that people will go out and buy that system for. Mm -hmm. Like, Black Blastoise, you even said, like, that's, you're buying a Wii U for Smash. Exactly. That's why I have one. That's why I, I really don't mind what characters they put in. I, I, I really don't care at all. If they decide to put anything, I really don't mind. Because I'm not, I'm not such a gamer, to be quite honest. The only two games that I play is, like, Smash and Pokemon. So, like, all this, like, Pit and Animal Crossing stuff, like, I really don't care. I have no connection to these characters at all. I just I just want them to be good and viable. I just you know, want Captain Falcon, that's it. Oh, Falcon. Yeah. I mean, Falcon's, like... I think part of that initial group of characters that's never yeah. going. Like, the Falcon Punch is so, like, emerged in the culture. Yeah, no way yeah. is Falcon getting uh, getting cut. Uh, is um, Keitaro back? Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah, what, what, do you, what do you think about tripping being yeah. removed? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I like Diddy Kong being able to trip. Um, I don't want, you know, normal tripping being in the game. Like, we learn to, you know, get used to it. But it's so bad. And that's one thing that people always say is bad about Brawl, tripping. So now that it's gone, I feel like the game is automatically better than Brawl. So I'm yeah. very happy that tripping's gone. Even if they take out Diddy Kong's bananas, I don't care. But if they keep it, that's fine. But if they take out tripping, like in general, I just want it gone, pretty much. Plus, I think if, even if they do take out tripping and they get rid of his bananas, like they could easily give Diddy Kong a new B down. Like That's not a huge problem. But that's like right. half the reason yeah. he's good, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, he could have <laughs> another tool. I don't know. Yeah, like I, he I might be getting a new move. In this it's game. logical for him for them just to take out the random tripping. Yeah, and exactly, just, exactly. Just put in like yeah. the other kind of tripping. If you cause someone to trip, then I don't think anyone complains about that. Yeah, yeah exactly. If you're, oh, yeah, if you're yeah, like yeah, yeah. in the middle of a combo and then you just trip for no reason, that's what people got upset about. Right. Now, it's the idea that you're in a tournament for money. <laughs> And there's all these people watching you, and you're in this the middle of this million dollar match, and then you're on the last <laughs> life. You're on the you last in front life, of Meta Knight. and you suck. And Meta Knight gets you to duck. Well, like not even in a competitive set, even for like casual players, they're like about to defeat the subspace emissary or whatever, and they just spent like nine hours trying to get to this place, and <laughs> they true. like trip. And then the boss got one life left on Tempo. It'd, it'd be pretty pretty hacks. upset. Hacks. That's the same as hacks, man. We don't need any more of that. No, we don't. <laughs> I think uh, Sakurai has a terrible sense of humor. That's what I think it was. was you know, that's what happened. To Paul. I don't want... know why he would put that in. Nobody liked it. Well, but, and uh... the thing about that too is that that it wasn't like that was just Sakurai's decision. That is the decision of the team. Like the guy yeah. who implemented tripping should be fired. And then there's, I'm sure, <laughs> a list of like twelve people at least who had to approve that, and all of them should no longer be working on Smash Brothers. <laughs> and, like, the only reason Sakurai gets, like, an out on that is because he created the franchise and he's amazing. But, like, but everyone else... Seriously, though. Through, that like, is ridiculous. Smash Brothers is such a unique game, and no fighting game ever in the history of anything has random tripping. That's so... That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. <laughs> well, Keitaro, you touched on 
how, on like how immediately this one's better than Brawl because of tripping. But to sort of segue into one of the other news stories is people were talking about how the speed, and you can kind of tell this from the videos too, but the speed is between Melee and Brawls, and there's not any DLC. So like, what do you think in terms of tournament play that means, like having the speed between Melee and Brawl? And I'm just, um, I'm just interested in your thoughts. Uh, I always wanted the game to be in, like, in between Melee and Brawl. I always thought that Melee was too fast and that Brawl was too slow. And uh, Melee is like, very hardcore. And Brawl is like, kind of casual. So I thought the speed right in between, that's all, what I've been hoping for. So once they said it's right in between, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be my favorite Smash game. I already know. Like They can't mess this up. I hope they don't. <laughs> and Well, Sakurai, Sakurai, obviously he does not care about the hardcore player base. Nope. Because he recognizes how Melee is the fastest and most competitive game, but he says he'll he he he'll never make another one like it because yeah. he thinks um, in a competition both people should have an even advantage, not one who's played more. I think you got to give him credit though because he specifically mentioned about this game that he's he's like taking time out to make sure the team is like has a balanced group of characters and like he's. One of the funniest things that they tweeted out during E3 week was the picture on the Nintendo of America Twitter with Sakurai sitting there with two controllers playing multiplayer by himself. And then someone asked him, like, is this what you do, like, when you're testing the game? He goes, oh, no, I do that on my lunch break. Yeah. So, I mean, clearly he's dedicated. And, like, clearly he knows that people were upset with Brawl, that people had problems with the tripping and, like, the stuff they added to be a little more casual. But I think even if they implement Final Smashes right, like, obviously... There will never be a tournament setting in which Final Smashes will be on, probably ever. But it's nice to know that at least even like thinking about that. So, uh, one last thing about tripping, uh, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to plug a brawl mod or anything, but Project M is pretty much one of the most famous ones right now. Everyone knows it. Uh, what they did with tripping was when Diddy Kong threw a banana down and you tripped on it, it gave you the option to tech. So you wouldn't get hyper punished. Oh. Mm -hmm. So when you landed on the ground, it gave you the option to tech roll or tech in place. Well, that's how it should be then in this one. Yeah, not not just fall down and then Diddy Kong can do whatever he wants. Are you listening, Sakurai? <laughs> Mod your Wii. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Skyloft stages between the two games look very similar. Oh, dude, it <laughs> literally looks exactly. It's not even like kind of. It looks exactly. <laughs> the freaking same yeah it looks exactly the same so all right well next up on the list of uh topics we got to cover is sakurai mentioned this thing about cutting down characters abilities uh -oh. and i think like that's a mistranslation i don't think he means like cutting out moves because all of us are so used to like you know neutral up up a you know like smash moves special moves like i don't think he means um cutting out like the, the move sets but like i think maybe what he means is that and, and this could be potentially really good or really bad well, is it just doesn't make sense with a character like mega man after we've seen all of his moves yeah yeah, yeah. especially then, because mega man's moves like we were talking about this before we recorded mega man's moves are literally to a t certain smash moves and certain specials like you could just tell if you really watch the video like his side tilt is the mega buster because he said he could move and shoot his up tilt's going to be that like sure you can thing his up smash is just like lucas's up smash it's that like spark shot his down smash is like um pikachu's down smash where it gets weaker every time it's the flame blast thing and then his four specials are probably uh neutrals metal blade side specials crash bomber up specials rush coil and down specials leaf shield mm -hmm. so yeah, I don't. I don't know what people were talking about. People on Smash boards were like, "Oh yeah, he he has like a, a down B move, and that's gonna cycle through all these different moves." And I'm like, "No, you are yeah. wrong." Like, people on Smogo were, were speculating the same thing. I was like, "No, you guys are dumb." <laughs> well, that's uh, that's a Pokemon board. We don't need to worry about them. Yeah, no, yeah. They, they aren't our audience. No. <laughs> well, well, they will be actually. Kind well, of everyone likes Smash. Yeah, though. everybody. Like, not everybody not everyone is. A, is not everyone goes to tournaments. Player, yeah. yeah. Right. That's true. I don't right, think. Well, then, what do you think he means by that? Then what could he possibly mean? Well, that's that's sort of what I, I wanted to ask is like an open question because I, I honestly hope, have no idea. I hope what he means by that is he's gonna try to make everyone more balanced, which I don't know how he would possibly do it, but because people are always gonna find something to exploit, 
but right. like I hope what he means by that is he gonna he's not he's gonna do his best to make sure every character is near the same uh, has near the name potential the same potential because you have Raw where Meta Knight and if you select others are ridiculously good and you have Melee where it's not I don't think it's as bad as Meta Knight but you still have like your Fox, your Jigglypuff, your Falco, which are like pretty good. We, they're not unbeatable, but neither is Meta Knight. But that I I just I assume he's he means that because like what he did with Bowser. Bowser has always been an inferior character basically because of his like lack of speed. So he's already done that to improve Bowser. I think Namco helping uh, make with the game is gonna help with the balance a lot. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm putting oh, my faith in Namco. Yeah, I do because I mean they know what they're doing. Like they've, they've been, been doing this for a long time yeah. with Tekken. Even like, I mean, this can be argued, but like even the Naruto games, like the Naruto fighting games, I could play that as someone who competitively plays Smash Brothers and competitively like loves Tekken, and I could play those Naruto games and have a lot of fun, and not necessarily even think of it like, oh my god, this character's so overpowered, you know. Even yeah. with that shelf, you know that two uh, D Naruto game we played. Oh yeah. That game was for I don't even like Naruto, but that was a good fighter. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good game actually. But I think the ones on the the, the Xbox isn't that great, but I don't know. It depends. What, it's what, like which the one people t- who like who like Budokai and the people who like Tenkaichi. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to Smash Brothers. I'm getting away from Naruto. All right. uh, <laughs> yeah, let's let's uh, talk about uh let's talk about um Mega Man's projectile smash attack. That's yeah. That's brand new. Yeah, I, I mentioned, mistakenly mentioned that Rob's, um, like, side smash is kind of like a projectile because it goes out. But then I, I rewatched the video after I said it, and it's not. It's actually really close range. Yeah. He's, like, his powerful laser like side smash thing. So yeah. I think in this case, though, I think Mega Man's the exception. Because during the developer direct, um, Sakurai specifically said that Mega Man, unlike every other character, instead of a jab... He uses the Mega Buster. Yeah. And so the natural progression of that would be, well, okay, if he uses the Mega Buster as his regular jab, what would his side smash be? It would have to be his charge shot. You know, so I don't think this is something we're going to see in, like, a lot of different characters. Um, but I don't know. But well, how do you think it changes things, though? Because, I mean, that's brand new. I mean, like, what, like, you know, people use the C-Stick a lot. So what if I do, like, a regular C-Stick smash attack? Is it going to be weak as hell? Or is it going <laughs> to do something? <laughs> Well, he looks like he's holding it down for a long time. Oh, yeah, time yeah, yeah, but that's, I mean, it's not like... that's charging it up, though. Charging it up makes well, it bigger. In the I games, just tab in the games uh, which they have kept Mega Man to be, like, perfectly represented from the old NES games, oh, if yeah. you charged Mega Man's Mega Buster just a little bit, it would be a tiny shot and just disappear quickly. Exactly, exactly. Or so. even what they could do, I, they probably won't, but what they could do is, like, in Mega Man X... If you're halfway through a charge and you gotta let it go, it lets out like instead of a big um, charge shot, it sends out like this green laser, which is like sort of between like the basic lemon Mega Buster shot and the the really huge uh, Hadouken yeah. look charge shot. So I mean, maybe they'll do that. Maybe they'll implement something like that where if you C stick, it it won't do like a regular Mega Buster and it won't be a huge charge shot, but it'll just be like a middle ground sort of thing. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. And what do you think? Uh, do you think they'll be you'll uh, be able to move around while charging your? Well, <laughs> I don't think so because no. you have to mash both things forward. So if you yeah. let go, okay. it's gonna fire. Right, and like it's it's uh his move and shoot is like a side tilt. I mean, like if you want to move and shoot with Mega Man, he didn't say this, but like you, you could clearly see in the developer direct, like that is gonna be his side tilt move. So wait, he has no neutral air, right? Just his Mega Buster. His neutral air is yeah, I think the yeah, Mega Buster. Yeah. Mega Buster. Yeah. The only thing we don't know. Because um, we have the list of all the stuff. The only thing we we haven't classified is what is his up air? Because I think Sakurai does it in that fight with um with Nate from the treehouse. Like you could you could see him do an up air, and it looks like he's just like shooting up like a little tornado thing. So maybe it's an airman attack, or I don't know. But th- none of the videos are high quality enough where you could like say for sure. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of weird. That is I weird think... though. That his neutral air is exactly the same as his neutral jab on the ground. So. Competitive wise, I think the thing that's gonna make or break Mega Man is if in the air you can move around uh, like melee when you're shooting off projectiles, how Fox and Falco could move back and forth, or in Brawl where you are stuck in that position. Because if Mega Man can't shoot his projectile uh, and he's stuck in one 
jump movement, he's going to get punished a lot for something as slow as that. So, I don't know. Mm. I don't know if, like, because have you, you've played Melee, right? You know how you know how Fox and Falco can move side to side in the air while shooting? Yeah. In Brawl, if, you, if, you're, if you're Falco or Fox, and you're jumping and spamming the shoot button, you can't move back or forth. That's that's what slows it down a lot. It's just a small thing. Yeah, that's all. I mean, but I think the difference with Mega Man. Well, I don't know because Fox, you he is pr- predominantly like long range, but it's it's more about like building up to get into the close range, you know. Whereas like with Mega Man, I feel like almost everything that seems viable out of his move set is long range. Like a lot of the stuff they showed, even like the his neutral B is probably going to be the Metal Blades, and like the ability to to shoot them in eight different or 12 different directions or whatever, eight, 12, eight. like to throw the different metal blades. Then he's got the, um, the charge shot that we were talking about. He's got the flame sword, which looks like not the flame sword, the slash claw, which is like a multi-hit crazy back air. It looks like game and watches turtle thing that he does. Um, he's got the hard knuckle, which is this meteor, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I think between the leaf shield, the metal blade, the charge shot and the standard mega buster. I think people could really play a good like far away game with him. So it'll be interesting to see how like people pick up with him. You know, if they start spamming the flame the flame swords and you know his air attacks, and then every once in a while doing like a spark shot or a flame blast, or if they really do try and like uh, you know play the field. So we'll see. Actually, actually, what I said about moving back and forth uh, while shooting doesn't apply to Mega Man because. He he's using the A button to shoot and not the B button, so it doesn't classify as a special move. And you mm. can move around when you use a neutral air, so. Hmm. Huh. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, one of the next things, uh, we were talking about projectile yeah. smash attacks. Let's talk about, because we didn't mention this earlier, um, We I didn't want to get too big into predictions on this stuff. Oh, actually, no, before we do. I'm jumping ahead of myself because I noticed we skipped something big. I want to talk. Yeah, we, let's talk yeah. about the GameCube controllers. Man. GameCube controller they support. So. There's no confirmed GameCube controller support, so like that that's gonna change everything. People, are, I think people will be super upset if they didn't implement some type of GameCube controller support. So, hey, I've been using that thing for like a solid 10, 10 years. Yeah, Smash came out in like what 2001. Smash uh, Melee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's all muscle memory now. I can't. I can't do it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not using another controller. <laughs> so like, it's. I think it's possible though, because I used um the GameCube controller for like, ten years too, and then I picked up the classic controller. And at first, I was like, "What the hell is this?" And after a while, I was just as good with the classic controller as I am with the GameCube. Nobody will believe me, and they'll play me, and they'll forget I'm using the classic controller. It's actually very good. You just have to try it out for a bit. Yeah. No, I, I was exactly the same way. Like Ike, when we were playing in, in the dorm room. Like, every time, I would choose the the Class Controller Pro just because it was really comfortable for me. And the thing is, because you have the option to, like, add different control schemes and, like, map things where you want, like, I mapped Mm. grab to my B because I always play, like, characters where you need to grab. You need to grab. Like, you just need to. And uh, I mapped that right to my B, and, I mean, I loved playing with the Class Controller Pro after a while. Like, I was, it was weird for for me at first, too, because I was so used to the GameCube controller. Um, But that being said... Like, Shofu, I know you wanted to talk about this, is I feel like they, they have to release an add-on that's a GameCube yeah, controller yeah. for a Wii. They have to, because you can play with Wii controllers on a Wii U. So there's no reason, no reason to not have, like, a nunchuck-type attachment where instead of a nunchuck, it's a GameCube controller. Yeah. I no mean, reason. It's not smart, either. Like, e- e- like even though Katara said, like, you know, he uses the classic controller and he got good after a while, people are not even going to want to consider doing that. Guaranteed, like me, I don't yeah. want to consider doing that. <laughs> like, even if even if Nintendo doesn't release something official, like we were talking about earlier, um, someone's gonna make something like that, regardless of Nintendo wanting them to do it or not. Yeah. So you got Julio in the group at Mad it's in their, party working. <laughs> yeah, it's in their benefit to just make something official, because generally Nintendo products are way way better than like all this uh, third party stuff. Called? Yeah, third yeah. party stuff, and that's money. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, oh, yeah. they're losing money big time. Yeah, I mean, I think they've got to do that. But and, and then on top of that too, like you were mentioning in tournaments, like people wouldn't even want to give it a second thought. 
I, I honestly don't even... I cannot think of a recent tournament that I've been to for Smash Brothers where it wasn't automatically all four slots of the Wii were taken up with game controllers. Like, I don't even think people <laughs> you might you, you might like, see that one guy. I've seen a guy. I saw a guy at Apex, actually. He was pretty good, too. He was really good. He was using the Wii controller and a nunchuck. And he was, like, super good. But he, he uh, had to be the only person in the entire building with a Wii controller with him. And I'm sure he mapped the controls, like, to the Wii controller. So when he took it there, like, he knew what he was doing. Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe some people are good with the default, but you know, I don't know what his name is. I think a uh, hey, Katara. You know who I'm talking about at Apex? He had a game. He had a, a Wii nunchuck and a controller. There's one guy. I forgot his name. He's pretty good though. Is he there? Oh, um, <laughs> he had a Wii mo yeah. and a nunchuck. He said. Yeah, I think he's known though. Uh, I I know who you're talking about. Did, did I can't he, think of him. He was Snake, I think. I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Ultimate Razor from uh, Texas. Yeah, he's good. As, he's really good too. Like he's, he's, he's very good. good. He uses the. They play control. Snake with a nunchuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think that is help. It makes no sense, but he's really <laughs> good. Huh. Yeah. So I mean, but like I said, he was the only person I saw at Apex with a weed <laughs> nunchuck and a controller. <laughs> Was he smashing people? Yeah, no, he's like seriously, like he's good, like he's good, like really good. <laughs> wow. I think he lost to a, uh, a fox though, and which is kind of weird and brawl. But anyways, um... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking to myself, that's not weird at all, and then I remembered. Yeah, it's brawl. Yeah, it's not melee. <laughs> well, all right. Well, the last two things. Is there any first off? Is there anything else you guys want to touch on before we get those last two topics out of the way? Because I wanted to sort of steer clear from prediction stuff. Um, because we have a lot of bi-weekly we're, we're hoping to make this podcast bi-weekly for you guys who are listening um, hoping to do a live stream at one point off Shofu's channel do a couple other cool things um, and we're trying to steer clear of predictions because there's going to be weeks I could feel it now there's going to be weeks where like Sakurai posts screenshots of like Kirby eating an item and that's going to be it for the week and we're just going <laughs> to have to talk about that and like I feel like we're going to need prediction padding for some of these weeks so with that being said, um, we still have two weird little prediction things that are actual like stories that were on a bunch of websites that we can talk about. But before we get into those, is there anything else you guys want to touch on in terms of whether it's a play mechanic or whether it's yeah. like a new story that you missed? I want I wanted to talk about this new mechanic where they like they show I don't know like an outline of the attack, which. I don't know. To me, it seems extremely helpful just because it, it really helps to like visualize combos and just it makes it a lot more noob friendly, but not to the point where it's going to take out a lot of the competitive aspect. But flashy too. I it's also aesthetically pleasing. It looks yeah. really nice. It, it does yeah. look really nice. Cool. And on top of that, too, it looks nice on both versions. Like, I think it looks good on the 3DS. Ver You'd need it on the 3DS version because the screen's so small. Um, which is another reason why they have the outliner on the characters instead of just having them plain. Like even Sakurai mentioned that in the Developer Direct. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks great. On it looks really, really good on the Wii U version. Like the screenshot you just posted, where it's uh, Samus doing uh, doing her up, up her up. tilt, and then you've got Mario and Pit doing presumably what's his new B side, um, and then the Animal Crossing villager watering a plant, not giving a care. Uh, but man, like <laughs> Samus's down tilt looks amazing. Like that, just up, the look though. of it. That's up tilt, but up yeah. Up tilt, sorry, like, what did I say? What, uh, <laughs> you said down tilt, but what, wow, I, want, is... what I wanted to point out, why this is a lot better for me, m this is just like something personal, but my brother, when we play, he always complains, he's like, wow, that did not hit me. Cause ah, if you take yeah. A look, if you take mm, a look oh, at, the, yeah, yeah. at the Fox mm. up smash, you see his foot, and then you see his, uh, his that head. line, which is presumably where, where he does damage, and that line is a good, I don't know, like half of his entire body length. Yeah, that um, makes that makes perfect sense actually, because that foot, like I, I understand what you're saying. Like he he's like a foot away from Kirby. Yeah, <laughs> but the, then, the the line is is like inside Kirby. Because <laughs> people always complain, oh that did not hit me, but the hitboxes extend. But in melee, it was really hard to see for one, because it's super fast, and two, right. you didn't have these outlines, which I think are a very good addition to the game, in my opinion. Um. Also. Smash is famous for disjointed hitboxes. Snake's yeah. up tilt, Jigglypuff back air. Oh my god. Snake's up tilt was literally what I was just going to mention. Like, there's yeah. videos of nonsense 
hacks, Johns, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> nonsense <laughs> with Snake's up tilt. Like, I cannot even name how many matches I lost. One of my roommates played Snake constantly. Chase, you're getting a shout out right now. One of my roommates got pretty good playing Chase. I'm sorry, playing Snake. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he would spam that up tilt. Like, no, t- and he'd be like, oh, see, I'm so good. It's like, no, dude, that hitbox is messed up. Like, and I'm not used to Brawl. I still play Melee. Like, I play Brawl a lot, especially when, when it's like Project M stuff or, you know, when people are over and the Wii's already hooked up. But I am a Melee person, like, through and through. So to see that hitbox nonsense on Snake, oh, good lord. Yeah. Uh, so we, are we moving on, or? You got anything, Keitaro? Oh, oh, Keitaro. Oh, uh, sorry. I was gonna say, um, the up tilt, I don't know if you guys know, but they messed up on that. Um, like, Snake was supposed to be bigger, but they never made him bigger. They put him smaller, but they forgot Ooh. to change the hurt boxes. Jeez. So that's why a lot of his moves hit when they're not supposed to, and especially the up tilt. And the, and the forward tilt, too. Forward tilt. Yeah, the forward tilt has, like, a janky range of hitting. Like, it just hits you. Yeah. So he was supposed to be bigger, kind of like Ganon, and then they're like, oh, we'll make him smaller, but we'll just forget to change the rest of the stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, for, I mean, for right. those of you guys that who are listening who play Monster Hunter, it's like the hitbox of Plesioth. Like, Plesioth has this hip dodge thing that he does, and it literally, you could be underneath the tail, not even close to his body, and it'll send you flying. And I feel like that's what they did with a lot of Snake stuff. So I totally believe that he was supposed to be bigger at one point. Yeah, but, that, uh, that makes sense then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, have then we, let's move on to. Wait. Uh, have we, Have we seen any peach, any peach stuff? Well, yeah, there's a thing. There's, no peach stuff, there's yeah. a thing of Animal Crossing hold, or the the villager holding a turnip, but there are turnips in yeah. Animal Crossing. Does, oh, it look, does, it, does it look like a? That's what I just. Peach? That's what I linked. I right couldn't. Now. I couldn't see if there was a face on it, but. It looks like there might be, but it's it not. It doesn't really look. It doesn't really look like. Does it look like? That looks like an Animal Crossing turnip. Yeah, that, that doesn't, doesn't look like peaches. Doesn't look like peaches. Turnip. He might be. That might be his downer. He might throw it down or something. He yeah, throws it kind of looks turnip. like it. Yeah, it's a good call. Where are these pictures coming from? The press, press right? It. Yeah, or Smash uh, Bros. dot com. Yep. Oh. Or right here, which I pro- I probably should have linked to this earlier because it's like amazing. Well, we'll link to we'll link to that in the show notes oh, too. Okay. Um, oh, but yeah, there's there's this one like album that we're looking at right now for those of you guys who are listening, since obviously you can't see what we're talking about. There's a whole album of all the HD shots um, from every literally everything we've seen from the website, from the press kit. Uh, yeah, God, these are beautiful. I have like 20 new iPad wallpapers that I need to <laughs> that I need to put on. But um, one other thing too, because I feel like we skipped over this, but we talked about it a ton uh, off not off camera but off mic. The Villager. Okay, The Villager, I know you guys are like, well, Black Blastoise was like, no, he looks like Ness Garbage. I am telling you, yeah, he is top tier. Ike, please, can, share can your knowledge. Just, can we just touch upon that right now? From the very beginning, when you see The Villager put the net over at Mario, you could tell that he was definitely going to be a rapist. And All right. Probably <laughs> the- <laughs> PG-13. All right. The best. I feel like he's gonna be one of the two. He's getting a lot of love on the internet right now, like countless memes. And I feel like people are definitely warming up to him. And I'm sure, you know, once he gets, once they get their hands on him, they're gonna see that he's a very capable character. And I mean, like, I, I, I disagree because, like, he all the stuff, like his bowling ball stuff, and all the the wannabe combos that they showed, um. He hits people when they're like stuck in the ground or whatever. But I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to mash out of that. But like in in these previews, they're obviously not mashing out of it because they want to make him look good. But like in the real game, you could just mash and you're you're not gonna sit there for like five seconds like you do in these previews. So I think I don't think he'll be that viable to be honest. Because like Donkey Kong had that move where you where he like I think it was like his forward side, smash. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, uh, side, side B. B, side B, side B. Yeah, side B where he he like buries you similar to the nobody uses this, that on this character. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's like not viable at all because you can like mash out of it. So I'm I'm assuming it's gonna be the same way because you can't just like bury people and let them sit there for like five seconds because uh, that's pretty broken. The the but, two big yeah. moves though that like clearly are going to be incredible. One is the the catching projectile move. The fe- like he's yeah. a I think he's the first small agile character like this, like of, you know, of like that body type that can do that. And if he's small, 
and you're in the middle of a match, and some dude shoots a charge shot at you, and you're or just holding on to it like Game & Watch is B-Down, like the yeah. whole match, and then you just throw it out, and then at the very edge of the uh, at the very edge of the stage, you see over throughout the whole match, he's been like slowly watering a plant and growing a tree. Dude, I could see matches ending where he just throws back like Samus's charge shot. Samus is off the edge. She's about to ledge grab. She auto grabs, and then the tree he axes down, and boom, meteor smash. All right, like, well, let's, let's talk about this though. Let's talk about it's this a setup though. for sure. Let's talk about this though. I don't think there's any like viable character. That shoots things like let's say Samus, like a big ass charge shot. There's no like viable character that shoots really powerful projectiles like that. Lucario says hello. Lucario, nobody uses Lucario. <laughs> what? Lucario. Talking about Kitaro? Anyone use Lucario? Kitaro, does anybody use Lucario? There's that one guy. What's his name? I use Lucario, man. Um, um, Roger's Trilla? really big on Lucario. That's like the only Trilla? character he used. Yeah, it's only like one guy. Trilla, uh, Lucario's not that strong. So, so back to what I was saying. There's not yeah, really so one, one viable character that uses, like, <laughs> really, 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 really... Well, Mega Man stars. now. He joined the fray. Okay, that's true. But can you, you think you'll be able to catch Hello? Ash Attack, though? <laughs> yeah, you should uh, be able to use it to project can catch items. items. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, okay. So, okay, yeah, you can catch items. That's right. I forgot it was just... That's true. And, like, that that tree thing, I don't think that's going to yeah. be viable at all, at all because... It looks slow. He, he has terrible. to, like, grow it, and I'm pretty sure... He can sure catch items, he can catch shots. He has to, he has to, cut, it, he has well, to I mean, cut it down, too. Yeah, and I'm pretty well, sure... He's catching an item, too. I mean, maybe opponent, if it's, like, Peach's turnips or... I don't the know. The opponent is just going to be able to, like, once it's still a sapling, just go over there and, like, smash that bitch and, like, get it out of here. You, <laughs> you're not going to let this nigga just grow an entire orchard on you. <laughs> uh, something else. Um, one more thing before we keep moving on. We keep, it, we takes, keep, it looks like it takes forever to grow it. We keep, we keep <laughs> back... Where what is it called? Back something? Uh, I don't know. Backtracking. Back uh, but there's a picture here in the thing. Backtracking. It's, it's it's really small. Yeah. But it's just a really small thing. Uh, that angle tilts their back. Like, uh, Samus is angling her tilt upwards. Yes. Oh okay. Wasn't that in melee though? Uh yeah. no, was it? I think you can only melee. do it in brawl. No, in melee you can do. You yeah, can you can do that in tilts. melee. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Captain Falcon, I, I play. I and know Samus can do it Samus also. Can. I think everyone. Everybody can, can do it. Fal- yeah, Fox, yeah. Falcon. yeah, yeah. I was just saying I should know this because I play Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then finally we won't backtrack anymore. We'll talk about these. <laughs> so there are two news stories about possible characters. So one um, was an interview that Richard IGN did with Sakurai, where he was talking to Sakurai about characters that are in the game, specifically third-party characters, and he asked him. Do because Namco Bandai is developing Smash Brothers, do the Namco Bandai characters get any sort of preference? And Sakurai was just sort of like, no, they don't. Like the reason we put in Mega Man is because he fits. He's he fits the world, and he doesn't want to add any other characters that don't fit in the world of Smash Brothers. But at the end of this interview, he asks Rich. He says, okay, so what character would you put in out of Namco's history if you were going to put in one? And then Rich goes, oh, Pac Man. He says, and then Sakurai, apparently, according to this article, gives like a little smirk, and he says, "Okay, so what would his final smash be?" And then Rich says, "All right, well, you grab the smash ball, you turn into eight bit Pac Man, everyone turns blue, and you eat them." So, judging from that, do you guys? First off, do you think this is a hint toward anything? And second, do you want Pac Man in the game? No, I don't. I, I do don't. not I want Pac Man. No. We had. We have. We have Wii Fit Trainer, and we have. <laughs> we have Villager. We don't I need mean, any more. Need Nintendo has such an array of characters. Why would they need to go to something so dumb like a Pac Man? I mean, what's what's it gonna do? All it does, it's like a half a circle that just moves around. Like we were talking about earlier, if they could implement like Majora's Mask Link, that'll be. A million times better than those stupid pets. Whoa, no, no, no. That's a topic for a different episode. That's like a whole... <laughs> no- we could talk about Majora's Mask Link. Well, yeah, but the only, yeah. the only... The point I'm trying to make here is why yeah. introduce something like a Pac-Man when Nintendo has so many characters that they could have with, I would assume, a lot more potential than just the Pac-Man. Pac-Man just seems like too basic to, to me. See, like, I personally agree with you, but I know there's a ton of people out there who are, like, on Smash Boards and on Game Facts and all that stuff who make up movesets based off of the Pac-Man World games and the, like, garbage SNES Pac-Man game, Pac-Man Adventures or whatever. And I don't know. I, something tells me that, like, if they make Pac-Man, he'll be the new anthropomorphic Pac-Man that they, like... Because they're rebooting the series right yeah, now. There's, the like, boots. a cartoon show. There's a new game coming out. 
I feel like, if anything, I feel like Pac-Man's the best bet for a Namco third-party character. But we'll see. All right, well, the second thing, which is probably more important, uh, is during... Actually, Shofu, do you want to talk about this? Because you were there. Hit me. All right. Me too. So, Sakurai, during the Pokemon conference, if I'm not mistaken, someone asked a question about Pokemon characters from X and Y being in Smash Brothers. And then Sakurai stood up and said what? It wasn't exactly Pokemon X and Y. It was just Pokemon in general. They're like, what okay. Pokemon do you want to be in a new game? And they said they weren't allowed to say anything. That's all they said. Like, they like they laughed for a little bit, and then they said uh, they're not allowed to talk about that. But, obviously, there's going to be some new Pokemon in the game. <laughs> so, do you think, going back I think back we should have to... talked about that a little bit more, though, because there's so many... I mean, obviously, we have no... There's, like, a billion Pokemon, so there's no way we know... But... I mean... There's there's obviously some there's obviously a bunch of Pokemon we know aren't gonna be in the game. Yeah, yeah. But like at the same time, Pokemon X and Y comes out way before Smash Bros. does. So yeah. <laughs> when it when, when it Brawl oh, came out? Uh, Brawl came out in two thousand eight. Okay, so Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out in two thousand seven. Yeah. I'm thinking that they're gonna have a new X and Y Pokemon in there. Well, do you think they're I, gonna do like a trainer similar to like take out Pokemon I like that. trainer I, I and then think, put in? No, I, well, yeah, I think they should put some type of. I like the tra- I like the Pokemon trainer character. Like he had three Pokemon, you could switch them out. I like that. I don't. If, I hated it. I think they should just stick to like <laughs> the singular Pokemon, like Lucario yeah, like, or like, Pikachu. If if Mewtwo, if they decide to bring Mewtwo back with his new form, it could be like a chic Zelda thing. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. That's what I think too. That's how I, how I'm feeling. Is like. Because one of the big things, I think, outside of Mega Man, one of the, the characters that always tops polls of who you want to see in the next Smash yeah, is Mew- Mewtwo. People love Mewtwo. <laughs> people love Mewtwo. Because he really is, like, next to Pikachu and, like, it, more so than Jigglypuff. Like, Jigglypuff's never going anywhere because she's, like, so ingrained in Smash Brothers. But in terms of, like, mainstream people who knew Pokemon, if you ask mainstream people... What Pokemon would you name? After Pikachu and Charizard, I guarantee you they'll say Mewtwo. Mewtwo. I guarantee you. He's a flagship character, yeah. Well, it so, depends what age group you ask, because we're all, like, yeah, we know, grew, around we grew our up, 20s. We grew up with Pokemon. We're all yeah. in our 20s, yeah. But, yeah. like, still in all, I feel like Mewtwo is such an iconic character, and especially with, like, the implementation of the new form in X and Y. Like, I remember seeing that. I think I was actually talking to you on Facebook, Shofu, when that, when that like, came out, when that uh, the picture leaked. And the first thing I said was, I'm telling you, that is going to be in Smash Brothers. That was the first thing. Like, almost like, I mean, obviously they didn't do this, but it seemed like the Pokemon company made that version of Mewtwo specifically to be, to put Mewtwo game. back in Smash <laughs> Brothers. Like, find a way to that'd put him back sick. in. You give him, like, a like a combat move set instead of all them damn special attacks, that'd be cool. Yeah. I like that. I like the idea. Like a really, like a really fast, heavier Mewtwo. Yeah. And like you said, maybe it could be a transformation like Sheik Zelda thing, but I think even at that point, if they're going to throw in Mewtwo and there's already so many form characters to begin with, maybe they just throw in Mewtwo's new form and just call it Mewtwo and have him in the game. I mean, it is Mewtwo. Yeah, I mean, it's still Mewtwo. It's just the awakened form or whatever, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that'd be that'd be cool. I like that. Or, yeah. well, it could be his final smash. Mm. Well, then while we're talking about Mewtwo... Do you think, because people always make this argument, oh, you know, Mewtwo was replaced by Lucario, and Lucario is going to be replaced by Zoroark, which, uh, that doesn't no, make sense. Because there's no. another generation yeah. of Pokemon coming, yeah. so sit yourself he, down. He's washed up already. <laughs> he's washed yeah. up. So do you guys think that Lucario is going to get cut then? Yeah, or do, uh, like, yeah, 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 yeah he's gone. I think he's cut. I think he's even that popular <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> Roger's mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just, like, kind of hurt because I like Lucario. I mean, I'll. I'm, I'm not going to lie, like, I know you guys are saying he's not viable, but man, I'm going to pick up the villager and try to main him, like, first thing. Dude, that's, if exactly, I can't. Dude, that's what Zest uh-huh. said, man. I'm telling you, he's going <laughs> to be, uh, like, he's going to be another Ness. No well, regardless, level. like, he looks like when it comes to the Pokemon <laughs> characters, I feel like you've got Mewtwo, Pikachu, and Jigglypuff are, like, I think all of us can agree that's going to happen. What, Mewtwo? Yeah. I don't, I mean, I can't say anything about that. Pikachu's obviously in the game already. Jigglypuff's yeah. probably going to be in the game. He's been in... Wait, was Jigglypuff... Jigglypuff's in the first one, too, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. He's an unlockable character. Yeah. yeah. So... And Mewtwo and was game. planned for the original game, which is why he was in Melee. And then they replaced him for Brawl. Um, but I don't know. Like, if they do cut Lucario, then do you think three Pokemon's going to be enough? Or do you think nah, they will? Nah, I think they're going to have at least four. At least four? At least four, yeah. That includes yeah. a Pokemon trainer. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I think they're gonna have at least four Pokemon characters. Well, yeah, yeah. If they they do have a trainer, there's way too many. Like, I don't know. Yeah, um, Jigglypuff was barely put into the game for Brawl. He was actually, uh, well, she was added in very late. They were not gonna put her in, but then they decided to. It was uh, Jigglypuff, Wolf, and I believe Toon Link. Yeah. Those three. That's why they're not in subspace, right? That's why they have the weird little cutscenes. Mm. So. Yeah, because if you so watch, like all the other characters are in the main story mode. Whereas if you click, um, and you're <laughs> okay, so people aren't gonna know what this is, but like I'm laughing because Blastoise just linked to a picture of the Psycho Villager. So should we talk <laughs> about this? Like, should we talk about how this has become like a meme? Nah, that's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right, let's not. Um, all right, well, is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we wrap this up? Because we're kind of hitting like the hour, yeah, hour and a half mark. Um, anybody? 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 Oh, I got something. All right. Anyone want to make a bet with me that Mewtwo King will be absolutely amazing at this game as well? Who, uh-huh. who, who wants to <laughs> no, go against are you that? Who would bet against that? <laughs> well, also, yeah, why would somebody go against that? He's, he's sick as fuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. I are you talking, about, are you talking about, like, immediately or, like... Yeah, I think he'll yeah, be good on this. Immediately. Yeah, Immediately. Especially yeah. now with online. Like, when the online... Because obviously the online in this is not going to be janky. Like, it's it's going to be good. Thank Clearly. You. Dude, having the world at his fingertips, he's going to get so good so fast. <laughs> You're going to come back. Right, like, the, oh. You guys know what character he's going to be? Villager. The villager. <laughs> no, uh, me King said he used to do speed runs of Mega Man, so he's like super ultimate hyper Mega Man. He's manning him no matter what. Really? <laughs> nice. That's the. That's the that scary as hell. You heard it right here on the show. Confirmed. Yeah, he's, he's, gonna find, he's gonna find out some crazy shit with Mega Man and just yeah, Mega yeah, Man like, games. Like, Mewtwo King's like <laughs> superior spacing, and then like he likes to camp near the edge. He's just gonna like zone people out so badly. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Hey, Guitar, you go on uh, all this bra, right? I think I saw your name uh, on the ladder. Uh, yeah. I don't play on the ladder usually, but yeah, I'm on all of us, bro. Oh, a lot. Okay. Well, while, while we were talking about it, sort of to wrap up the show, because um, you are saying you were on all is bro, where can people who are listening to the show, because obviously we did such a good job with this first episode, right? So people want <laughs> yeah. more. Um, so where can they find us? So just everyone, one at a time, Shofu, where can people find you? Hello. <laughs> Damn, Shofu thinks he's all big. No, okay, okay. This is going on my channel. <laughs> okay, I, this is on your channel, but I mean, what's your Twitter? Uh, my Twitter is official Shofu. All right. My Facebook is actually kind of weird, so I'll just link that. But my Facebook has like all these weird ass numbers in it, and then obviously my channel is Shofu, so good. All right, Zeph. You can't find me anywhere. <laughs> Zeph is a man of many secrets. I became I became irrelevant in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> You can find me on Smashboards. My name is Zeph. That's it. And there it is. And there it is. Black Blastoise. You can find me in the club. No. <laughs> 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 hey, nah, you, you, you can find me. You can find me on youtubecom slash blackblastoise, Even though I don't really post too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Taro. Um, well, you can find me in my car on Skype, or you can find me on, uh, <laughs> uh let YouTube. Say, let me say something. <laughs> Everybody make sure to subscribe to this man. I've been watching this man for the last couple months. He has really good, com- first of all, he's my favorite commentator on the Brawl match. Yo, I don't even Thanks. like all, but I'll watch matches he commentates. Yeah, yeah. He's, the same way, yeah. yeah. And then he has, you know, he just he's just good. Like, he's good. <laughs> so, so go check this man's channel out. And then also, you're part of Clash Tournaments. And they post a lot of good brawl, uh, just Smash stuff in general, all all the Smash games. So yeah, go check them out too. All right, thanks for the props. But yeah, I'm just uh, Kitaro, so you could probably search me up like Kitaro Brawl. I should show up, but YouTube slash, it's it's some terrible name. I nobody's gonna remember it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I yeah. Um, you, you can find me in the shadows. Like uh, I don't have anything. Like, I guess they gotta look out for that later, maybe something. Yeah, like they'll that. look. Well, what we could do, what we'll probably do after this, is uh, I'm assuming, in case you guys didn't hate us, that you're gonna want to ask questions and you're gonna want to hear things that we're gonna talk about. So obviously this week we're just talking because there was a, a ton of information about the games, um, but I'm sure in, in weeks to come 
there's going to be questions that you guys want to ask us or things that we didn't cover this week. Um, so feel free to like send us tweets, write things on our YouTube channels, subscribe to us, uh, things like that. And we're going to hopefully by next time be able to like answer some of your guys' questions and have like a whole segment sort of dedicated to reader questions or listener questions. Why am I saying reader questions? It's late. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. It's like eight over there. <laughs> whatever, man. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap the show. Um, all right. Well, and then you can find me uh, at Rogers Base at R O G E R S B A S C on Twitter. Um, BG Tribune. We'll probably be posting this there so you guys can leave a comment. Um, and then we'll also, I'm tr- working on getting an iTunes feed up. So hopefully we'll have an iTunes feed up by tonight. Hello. Um, but if we don't, then I'll tweet about it or show will tweet about it or we'll make something about it. So, well, guys, thank you so much for listening. Seriously, this cast is awesome. I can't wait to be doing this again. Um, and for all you guys, like I said, let us know what you thought. Let us know if you think this sucked and you want to hear different feedback and things like that. Like, tell us, please. We've got thick skin. We can hear it. So uh, for everybody here, thanks so much for listening. And we'll see you during the next Japan time. Your mama. I'll cut that part out. No. I'll cut that part out. It's necessary. It's necessary. I'm leaving that in there. Thank you.